Hey guys, this is the second part of maximum entropy in most reinforcement learning. In the first part, we got to the point where we defined the objective where we want to maximize the log likelihood of the probabilistic distributions of the human expert trajectories. Now we are we gonna solve this as I promised you in the last video. So let's solve this. So once we take L of theta, that is log max of over theta one by m summation of trajectory of human data so we will substitute the value of probability over here that we calculated in the that will be reward of the human trajectory so this is what we have calculated in the previous video and once we we solve the log so e raised to r of tau of t will come as tau of t and so let's see and log of 1 by z will be minus log of z where z is the partition function and so to get the value of theta we get take the derivative of l with respect to theta so when we take the derivative it will be 1 by m summation of all the summation of all the human trajectories d by d theta of the reward of human trajectory data minus the derivative of this will be 1 by z so it will be the first derivative with z itself and it the later will be dz by d theta for z we can define as summation of tau e raised to theta into theta transpose f or we can just say for now reward of tau that's what the partition function was so if it it's when we take the derivative it will be sum over all the tau e raised to r of tau as e raised to x derivative of x with sorry derivative of e raised to x with s is always e raised to x and we will take the derivative of t by t theta into r of tau i'm sorry that went out of the window i'm so sorry but i think you got the point So, by solving that we know d by d theta reward of the human trajectories minus it will be summation of so it will be 1 by z so we know what, what z is e raised to r of tau and it will be summation of tau itself was summation oh it's it's summation over here too i'm so sorry about that over all the human trajectory data it's over the trajectory e raised to r of tau into d by d theta and it's the word of tau over here okay so what we are gonna do is we're gonna put the set and take it inside the summation so we will get a, the term so this fraction is only the probability of selecting a trajectory so and we can substitute it with that in this equation so we obtain so once we substitute that it will be summation of all over the tau into probability of tau given the straight transition matrix and the policy so yeah so once i'm so sorry about this term okay so we can substitute it now we can put the value of reward function so we already know that reward for any trajectory is theta transpose and the feature of those trajectory as we already has uh, assumed that it's it, it is a linear function of the features for the trajectory that was tau. So once we substitute that, we get 1 by m summation of tau d. So it will be for this the reward for trajectory demonstrations will be theta transpose into f bar and that will be summation by over f. Sorry, over f will directly finalized to the f bar that is all the feature counts of 
the human expert project tree data minus and we take the m inside so that's how we get it i think you got that and 1 by m summation of tau p of tau into f where f was the feature for this trajectory as this reward will be theta transpose f and we take a derivative of the transpose it will be only the feature of those trajectories now we already have minus 1 by m so let's take the 1 by m inside and we can substitute the trajectory as sequence of state like s1 s2 given the actions that take them to the state like sn so we can just say sum then sum for all trajectories and we can substitute with that for the states that were belong to the trajectory as and we will say probability of getting to the states given the transition matrix and divide by m into the features so yeah this what this is this is um we can substitute this as the state visitation frequency as it is the frequency which the policy visit visits that particular state as this is the probability of visiting that particular state and we can substitute so this is the frequency state visitation frequency and we can substitute it with t i think we have the next slide for this yeah so sorry for this mm. So once we got over there, we take the m inside and divide by m, and that will be the state visitation frequency, and we can denote it with d. So now this equation takes the form of. I think we have. The, sorry, I have the next slide for this. Yeah, yeah. So once we take the m inside, and we can substitute with the state visitation frequency that will be t of s and this thing will be just f for sorry f of s this is a reward where we substituted the trajectory with rewards as explained and these are the states that was visited by trajectories of human data so it will be the reward of state of t so this will go to fr and once we solve this we get this equation that is the gradient of the objective we wanted to have that is the state visitation frequencies of the human expert demonstrations minus the minus the features and state visitation frequencies of the of the policy which we want so the objective of over here is we already know the features we just need to calculate the state visitation frequency over here and for that we will use dynamic programming because so dynamic programming we use to calculate the state visitation frequency for given the optimal policy and the transition matrix that is t and we use mu of t to denote the probability of state visitation for the state at time t so it can be defined as mu of t plus one for the time plus one if given summation over all the action given the further states the value of the new state given the transition matrix t and the initial state visitation frequency of that state and we sum it over over all the time to get the final probability of the visiting for that state so over here we now jump directly to the algorithm that is okay so the first part is we an initialized theta that is that was our reward parameters 
and we get the demonstration that this human expert demonstrations. So we solved for optimal policy. That was that. So one for the state visitation frequency over here. So to sorry for this. Yeah. To solve for the state visitation frequency, we need to first solve for the optimal policy. So yeah, one important point is this is this was what the optimal policy. This is one of the important point. This is what we, where we get the state visitation frequency from. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So we solve for the optimal policy to with respect to the reward of tau and to calculate the state visitation frequency p of s of tau as with given the reward parameters this is what we use to calculate the gradient that we have been we have derived in the previous slides where so where we take the derivative of human expert first and plus sum it up with the state uh, we just take the difference of state visitation frequencies and the features of our optimal policy and once we get the data so this is what the gradient we had before this is actually what the gradients we want to calculate where we want we calculate the optimal policy a comma s then we calculate the state visitation frequency and we put it over here to get the gradient and once we have the gradients we just update uh, theta parameters which should means converge to the policies of human experts demon sorry for that human expert demonstrations which could which should converge to that and there you go sorry So once we calculate, we update L with the, sorry, theta with the gradient. And once we do that, we repeat this process till we, sorry, sorry, uh, till we get the optimal policy, which resembles or which, which regenerate the human demonstrations. So in the next, I think, I think that explains maximum entropy in most reinforcement learning for you. If you want to know more, please let me know in the comment section where what part you didn't understand and what part in the paper you want me to explain more. So in the next video, we are going to go through generative adversarial limitation learning, which is also a famous.